This was once called the Piazza Grande in Trieste, the biggest square in Europe, it said. It's now called the Piazza Unita d'Italia because in 1922 it became part of Italy, Italy was united. Famous centre of Trieste, you can see here crowds of people milling around before the race tomorrow, and particularly behind me here, something significant to my own family's history in recent times. On the balcony behind me in September 1938, Mussolini gave a speech to crowds who were here roaring and cheering, but the speech was different, it was special. In this speech he announced for the first time the anti-Semitic race laws, in fact, that came two months later, when the Jews of Italy suddenly, for the first time in a hundred years, were made to feel unwelcome, unpopular, alien, they lost their rights in universities to education, in public posts. My grandfather in, in particular, for example, had left Trieste and gone down to Sicily, but on, that, on this occasion it was the beginning of when he lost his job. In fact, in the speech, Mussolini mentioned, they heard it on the radio, he mentioned the shifts in particular, not my actual family for shifts, but the shifts in America as basically Bolshevik uh, perpetrators and in, in being of a third colonist. And my grandmother said, what do you mean the shift's wealthy? We're not wealthy. Of course, that's how it was. Anti-Semitism didn't have a long history in Italy. There's been a Christian anti-Semitism. But here in Trieste, it been a safe place. People built up careers. My family was happy here, made fortunes, moved on. And then it changed. And here's where it started. So the Jews were safe under Austrian Trieste. Yes. But when it became Italian, it became a more dangerous place. It, it, it was fine until 1938. It came out of the blue, a complete bolt out of the dark. But suddenly, in, in, in Italy, Jews were made to feel unwelcome. They made a huge contribution during the unification in the 1840s and 50s, when my ancestor fought as a Garibaldino. And they felt completely comfortable. Like most people, like the Jews in Germany, they felt accepted, safe, comfortable, integrated. But here in Italy, you know, the Jews have been in Germany from 1933 onwards have been persecuted. It was a strange shock in 1938 that suddenly Mussolini, who had a Jewish mistress, who was also a political advisor to him, came out with these anti-Semitic statements which led to the persecution of the Jews and eventually to the death of many when Italy was, came under German control in 1943.